Well, I mean, our defense is really starting to take shape. I mean, that was seven straight quarters of good defense. The first quarter, they didn't build their lead by poor defense. We just couldn't score. I thought we were getting some pretty good looks in there. Um, we just didn't have it. We, we, we struggled to finish you know, plays, make layups, make open shots. But we kept guarding, and that's a tribute to us. Um, you know, at times when we've struggled to score, we've, we've gotten lax on defense. But we kept guarding, and even though they, fin- you know, they finished with 33 first quarter points, I didn't really think that you know, it, was, uh, it was the defense's uh, you know, fault. I thought it was offensively. We couldn't really find a rhythm. With Dio plays like that, were you seeing that he was able to create his own offense and get open, or was he, what was allowing him just to get his shot off like he was today? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, he obviously has the ability to get hot, create his own offense, you know, and then he was feeling it. He hit the deep ones. Um, and, uh, you know, then that opened up the floor really for others. Uh, and I thought, you know, he did a really good job out there guarding too. He was, he was really solid and at times really impactful defensively. Chris Garman. The last bucket, Chris, um, were you just trying to well, we were trying to, you know, obviously we wanted to run action over top of Cat, see if we can get him the ball, and then uh, just read the read what the defense was doing. And um, you know, we didn't expect him necessarily to switch out with Gobert, but uh, he did, and, and D'Lo made the right read, and uh, Ricky found him. Getting the second win, talked about this a lot. Uh, yeah, I thought we, you know, it would have been a shame to lose this game. I thought we deserved the win. Um, you know, we struggled to make some little plays down the stretch, like rebounding, of course, and and we didn't we didn't make some hoops that we we got good looks at. So it would have been a, it would have been a tough one to swallow if we lost this one. But thankfully, we gutted it out. We found a way to come back. And very much like it was a carbon copy of the other day, but uh, proud of our effort. John, go ahead. Chris, how big was Lancho early? Like you said, you were having trouble with the offense, but he seemed to just give you enough to keep you afloat and keep you in this thing. Yeah, Lancho and Nas were real good early. They got enough buckets to keep us hanging around, hanging around. Um, and, uh, you know, that was big for us, John. And, and the other thing is I think it's important, you know, the way they were guarding Cat. Uh, I was proud of Cat. He stayed patient. You know, we were trying to use him in different ways, and in the end, we just used him as a decoy for a while, and then we re- we addressed some things at half. And I just, you know, I was really proud of him, his patience, and just let the game come to him because, um, you know, it, they did a good job of taking taking him out of the game there offensively for a while. Yeah, and Chris, he got going there um, and had that surgery knocking down the threes, and then get to the bucket for dunk. I mean. How, how much of a challenge is that for a player to try and stay locked in and even when you're not getting a lot of shots early to be ready when those things kind of open up for you to take advantage of them? Yeah, it's, it's, it's important, very, very important because, and that's why we kept saying, just you know, stay patient, the game will come your way. And he did so, uh, you know, and I thought it was, again, moving. Uh, we told we just be a little bit more active, and the ball will find you. You play up the catch. Uh, they'll lose you probably a little bit more. Um, you know, we just weren't going to be able to pump the ball inside to him. James, go ahead. Chris, he's been in Utah three times this year now. Do you get the sense that, especially when a team played with, like, the effort that it did, even a couple nights, that, like, your length, kind of length kind of across the board, really kind of gives you the problem? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't really know about how we specifically affect them. Uh, they're a great team. They're coached by, you know, one of the best in the league. Um, and they're going to go make a big run in the playoffs. Uh, I just know that when, we, when we're long and we are athletic and when we play physical like we were playing the last two games, um, you know, that's when we can, we can get out there and really guard anybody. Um, you know, tonight's, uh, tomorrow's going to be a different type of game for sure, so we're going to have to be able to you know, win that battle on the ball too. But I think guys like, are competing on the ball really hard right now, and that's setting the tone. Well, you always, yeah, you've always want to be disruptive. You know, um, we're 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 using a lot of energy defensively right now, um, and you know we're we're we're, um, we're we're trying to keep guys fresh on rotation so they can then get out and run and take advantage of the stops and play. 
play, in, play in transition a little bit. But, um, yeah, I, I think our guys uh, are doing a good job of being disruptive, and that's where defense starts.